so today I have my second quick list of things I wish I knew sooner in Godot. So this line of code is a quick way to add a pause to a loop if you are spawning enemies or bullets. So when adding new nodes in a script, you can actually add other nodes to that first node before adding it to the scene tree. Just a friendly reminder to always remember the difference between a float and an integer. Even when you have an integer divided by an integer, it will not be able to return a float. This will return zero every time. You can check to see what type of node the parent is. When you add assets into the inspector like this, it will always add it to where it is highlighted, no matter where in this little box you add the asset. The difference between modulate and self-modulate is modulate will change all of the children and self-modulate will only change the current node and not affect its children. If you check for an array and it's empty, it will return false. When you have a script that inherits from another script, you can override the functions of the original script. So I have a start function here that is overriding this start function. This code will run unless I put this start function here. Now if I want to add to the start function but still want all of that original code to work, I can put dot start so the original code runs and then the additional code will run also. This does not work with built-in functions like the physics process or the ready function. In those cases, it runs both of the scripts no matter what. Always remember to start your tweens. So a node's rotation and a node's rotation degrees are the same thing. The only difference is rotation is in radians and rotation degrees is in degrees. Sine and cosine take and return radians. So if you have an angle that's in degrees, you have to convert it to radians. So there are three different functions that are very similar and they all have to do with loading resources or a scene in a script. So the first one we have is new. And you're going to use new when you are making a brand new node or some type of resource, such as a curve 2D or a node 2D new. You use instance when you are loading a scene that you've already made. You'll be loading the path to the scene that you've previously made, and you're going to make an instance of it. So the duplicate function is for making a unique resource, uh, such as an animation or an animated texture. That way, if you make changes to it, it won't affect the other parts of the game that are pulling from that same resource. 